Next news, out of the USA, a Christian Uber driver kicks lesbians out of car after they kiss on the cheek. For people uh, around the world who might not know what Uber is, it's a car share writing service. So you can sign up with an app, um, pay somebody who is using their car to come pick you up and take you to where you want to go. So a Christian driver who worked for this Uber company picks up uh, a, a couple who was going out for a concert, okay? While the couple, two girls, were in the back of this woman's car, she kissed her girlfriend on the cheek, okay? That's all she did. Cynthia pulls the car over, she's the driver, um, and told the couple, get out of my car. When asked why, she said, I don't have that in my car. The girls asked, have what? She said, you need to get out of my car because you're gay. And the driver has been fired uh, from Uber. Good. I hope he gets yeah. fired from a whole bunch of other jobs. That he she! She, Armin! What? <laughs> right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. I, we, I, I just... Okay. I, yeah, I, actually, Chopin was suggesting that women are less homophobic than men, but this story is... is yeah, I was, I was talking about you in India. Okay. I asked Ali about the U.S. and she said that yeah, women tend to be less homophobic, but there are women who are homophobic. Okay, how did she, here's a question: How did she even like? How did she not like? Even if you're homophobic, don't you know that this is going not going to end for you well when you do something like this? Don't you know that yeah, you just probably now going to lose your job? Well, and here's the deal, and here's what people like me uh, were taught growing up: that if the world hates you. Then, then you are doing right by God. Okay, mm. the world is evil. It's the people of the world who are evil. So if, if what you're doing causes everyone to hate you because you're doing it for your religious beliefs, then you are going to be cherished by the Lord. So you, then we should all be gay then, now. <laughs> right. um, let me see. Oh, B just pointing out that less doesn't mean zero. Yeah, yeah, fair point. So yeah, less homophobic, but still homophobic. Chris, oh, Chris is in the top, uh, one of the top comments. Chris is in the live chat, but he's also one of the top comments for this. So Chris is saying, if you're so sensitive that getting worked up over seeing something you could have just ignored is more important than making money, perhaps the service industry isn't for you. Wow, perfect comment by Chris. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.